Hey, what's up guys? Flashfire here. Today I'm bringing you the first battle with this Mega Meta Jam team. Now, as you can see, we've made some changes to the team, but before I get to that, I'm going to ask you to leave a like right down below this video. You guys have been great with like goals recently. I want to see if we can get this to 20 likes. If we can, I'll be very excited about it. Now, you hit the like goal on the team builder, so a link to the team, uh, pastebin file of the team is in the description of that video. I will also put one in the description of this video, just because why wouldn't I? Um, and I will now go over the changes to the team. That was a really awkward segue. Um, but yeah, we, we've changed Lando T out for uh, physically defensive Clefable because one of you guys suggested that and I think it's a really good idea. Uh, I just think it, it does well. Also, we've, we've gone for unaware over Calm Mind. I think it's important to note because this can stop sweepers and stuff and I just think it's a cool idea. I've never tried unaware Clefable before. So we've done that and we've also put EVs on our Thunderous, which you guys noticed I didn't do in the team builder. So we've got max special attack, max speed, four in defense or special defense or whatever, it doesn't really matter, and timid, um, just because we want to outspeed the stuff, outspeed the lattes, all that kind of stuff, speed tie with other thunderuses. I've seen a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Starmies on the ladder recently, which kind of sucks. This guy's bringing quite a powerful team. And I think, honestly, he's going to be... There are so many leads on that team. There are so many leads on that team. I think he's going to lead with a Scolopede, though. That's the most obvious one. And that means that I can lead off with my Metacham. Hopefully it's Scolopede. It's Garchomp, though. Uh, which is not good for me. Hmm. Because this beats Metacham. Just generally. Just generally, Garchomp beats Metacham. Um, so, I feel I have to switch. But, because he's led with it, I really think he's going to set up the rocks. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't on a Mega Meta Cham. He wouldn't set up the rocks with a on a on an ice punching Mega Meta, Mega Meta Cham. He's not going to set up the rocks. He is going to stay in though, and he is going to set up the rocks. God damn it! Oh, if this turns out, if it turns out that this is um, friggin' focus. If this isn't focus sash, I'll be super upset. So he goes for the earthquake. That does nothing. We go for a moonblast. That does all of the damage, and we get a special attack drop. I've been getting special attack drops from moonblast all day, every day. I'm going to have to go for a wish here though. Just to ensure that I can live the next hit from this Garchomp. Obviously, we're going to live the next hit from this Garchomp, but to live the hit after. You've got to be planning ahead, thinking of the future, you know? Uh, so we've gone for a wish. Is he going to switch out? Is he going to switch on the Protect? Because it's a free turn, free 99. Free 99 turn. What does he switch into, though? Is it the Scolopede? Like... I'm fine. I, I'm going to protect. If he switches, that's fine. If he wants to go into the Scolopede, for example, I can switch Sizzle in and just be safe. He does go for the safe Earthquake, which is fine. Um, and how much is Earthquake doing? Like 40%? We can take another one of those. We can take another one, and we can go for a Moonblast. I'm sure he's going to go into a Scolopede right here. Uh, he isn't, though. He's just going to stay in and sack off his Garchomp, interestingly. I guess that special attack drop really did matter to him. So his Garchomp goes down, which is great. Um, although it was lead Garchomp, so I would assume, like, sashed and rocks and stuff, which is kind of a waste, in my opinion. Like, why would you, why would you waste it like that? But anyway, he goes into the Quagsire. Not sure what this is going to want to do to me, but I'm going to wish on it. Uh, because he can't set up on me. I know, well, it gets amnesia, doesn't it? That would be powerful. That would be so powerful. Amnesia, wait, does Quagsire get amnesia? Unaware Quagsire with amnesia? Oh my god. If it gets, like, Barrier as well, that would be incredible. I don't know if it gets Amnesia, though. I just really think it does. I don't know why. So he's going for Acid Sprays here and being a douche, but we're going to get a Protect Up, get a Wish Off, and it's all just great time. I don't have a Grass-type move, unfortunately, so I'm not going to be able to KO this thing very easily. Um, but what I do have is a Rotom, and he has nothing to take a Will-O-Wisp other than that uh, Starmie, which we can Volt Switch off of, so... I'm happy to switch my Rotom right in right here and uh, go for a go for a uh, 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 the thing with the stuff. You know, the Will-O-Wisp thing? I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch in the Rotom, go for a Will-O-Wisp. Just have a good time. If you want to switch in the Starmie, that's absolutely fine by me. He does go for the Acid Spray here. Also fine by me. Half of my special defense. Doesn't matter. He can't really hit me for anything. So I am going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. Residual damage on this Quagsire is huge. He does actually stay in as well, which is great. I was kind of afraid he would switch out then, but he didn't. So, we're in great shape right here. Uh, he's not really doing anything to me with that. So, I am actually just going to go for Hydro Pump right here. Get damage on something. If he wants to stay in with this, that's fine. If he doesn't, then also fine. I don't really know why what he's doing here. That's doing nothing. Don't burn me. Don't burn me. Okay, he doesn't burn me, which is great. 
And what are we gonna what do we switch into this? Like nothing? Like nothing. Good. Okay. Just just wanted to make sure we're all on the same page. I'm just gonna hydro pump this thing. I'm sure he's gonna recover. But I don't want to give him for Oh! We kill with the Hydro Pump. We got a high damage roll and we take him out of the Hydro Pump, which is huge, because Quagsire sucks. Quagsire really does suck. It's it's just bulk. It's just real, real bulky, and I don't like it. Um, by the way, guys, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already. But if you haven't already, you should absolutely go and check out the first part of my Let's Play. That went up yesterday. Today is Wednesday, right? Yeah. That went up yesterday. So you should go and give it a look. Um, choose my starter, give it a nickname, all that good stuff uh, in the comments. Because I, I want you guys to pick my starter for me because it would be really cool. So I'm going to burn the Scolipede right here. Which isn't going to matter too much, probably. But um, I think I'm just going to keep going for Will-O-Wisps because of... Oh, no, wait. He gets friggin' sub, doesn't he? Oh, balls. What do I do? What do I do? I think I just have to go for Will-O-Wisps. I'm going to keep going for Will-O-Wisps because eventually he's going to bat on pass. He does have the sub, though, which freaking sucks for me. I really wasn't... Oh, well, I kind of was expecting him to do that. As you heard, I was mentioning the sub. So, uh, I kind of just want to go for a Volt Switch right here. Um, not a Volt Switch. That was a bad play. I want to go for a Hydro Pump. It's fine, though, because um, I have an Unaware Clefable in the back at full health. And we can deal with him. Not a problem. Not a problem. Also, it's physically defensive, so it deals with... Uh, Anything he wants to switch in with this. It doesn't matter. Like, it'll take a hit from, uh, friggin... Ch dab, dab. I want to say Charizard, but it's not Charizard, it's Salamence. It'll take a hit from Salamence all day, it'll take a hit from Gyarados all day, it's not a problem. So we are actually going to get the Volt Switch off here, which is tippy-top. And, uh, we can go into Wheatley here. And just be so fine. It's not even... It's not even funny how fine we are, because we're unaware. He will see that we're unaware as we switch in on these rocks, though. If he's not paying attention... If he's not paying attention, that'd be great, because we get free 99 Moonblast off. But... Actually, looking at his team, it's more important that there are stealth rocks on his side of the field than there are, than the, um, I don't have rocks. Actually, he has a spinner. What's the point? Okay, he does go for the Earthquake there, and I'm unaware, so I do not give a damn. I do not give a damn. And we, and I think, I'm pretty sure Moonblast 2 hit KOs most forms of Skarmory. Not Skarmory. I had a, I had a rough battle a minute ago when I was testing, guys. You don't want to, you don't want to hear about it. He does flinch me with that Waterfall, which kind of sucks. And means that I have to go for a Wish here. Um, but yeah, I think... I think Moonblast 2 it goes that uh, star me. So hopefully if he doesn't flinch me here, we can get a wish off. Yes, that's fine. And we have to protect to stay alive. And um, we can start going for Moonblasts and it'll be great. Or can we? I think we can... S I think we have to wish next turn. It doesn't matter, mate. It really doesn't matter. I'm unaware. Um, yeah, we have to wish this turn just to ensure that we're okay because he might flinch us again, which would suck. And then we can start going for Moonblasts. I really don't like that he's flinching me though. It is really annoying. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. We do get the wish off, which is fine. Uh, basically, as long as he doesn't land a crit here, I think we're good to go. Actually, he has Mold Breaker. Holy crap. Oh, no. Mold Breaker gets through unaware, doesn't it? But he's not Mega Evolving. Does flinch me there. We get the wish. It's fine. If He's got to be Mega, right? He must be Mega. I'm gonna Moonblast. I'm pretty sure... That's not gonna do anything. I'm pretty sure if he Megas, um, then I'm, I, I die. Because Unaware gets, Unaware gets beaten by Mold Breaker. So I'm gonna go for a Wish here. I'm really hoping he just doesn't want to Mega Evolve. We do get the Wish off, which is huge. Uh... And what's the max he's done is 34 with a world of, with a waterfall, so I'm comfortable going for a moonblast right here. I don't think he's going to take me out. I hope if he takes me out right here, I think I lose. But um, no, that's not true. I can always come in with thunderous and paralyze him, and then be kind of better. Well, okay, not good, but okay. Uh, yeah, we live that. We don't flinch. We get another moonblast off. That's great because another moonblast is going to kill him, and I'm going to have to go for a wish. Uh, I just am. I just, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go for another wish. Uh, he is Moxie, actually, as well. I should point out, because he was not Intimidate. So, we don't want that going down. Oh, no. Wait, he is? What did he switch in on? Oh, he switched in on Rotom, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so, my bad. Sorry. I forgot that he'd Intimidated me already. So, I'm gonna go for a Moonblast right here, and it should be able to take him out. Um, I'm not sure why he hasn't Megged. If he'd Megged before, he would have been able to kill me weeks ago. I don't know why he didn't do that. I don't know why. I don't understand. Yeah, you're a fool. Um, so what can we do here? Basically, to live a hit, we have to go into Zeus and Thunder Wave. And, yeah. 
we have to Thunder Wave right here, or else we're boned. And then, I guess we come in with our Choice Scarf T-Tar and take him out. I think that's what we have to do. So we're going to T-Wave Pull Power. Oh, the Full Power! Yes! The hacks are here. The hacks are here. We're going to go for a Thunderbolt. I don't know if we'll outspeed when he's a plus three speed. But we'll see. Because we are pretty quick and he's going to be at half speed. I don't know. We do outspeed. We take out that Gyarados. That's huge. The powerful para is huge. Because it means we're going to be able to keep this around to deal with that Starmie. Although I'm not sure how much a Scold from Starmie will do to a Thunderous. Actually, let's calc that. Let's calc that real quick. Thunderous. Oh, you nasty plot. Thunderbolt will kill. Scold won't do anything. Let's Thunderbolt. Let's freaking Thunderbolt, because we can kill this Skarmory right now. Ice Beam, no! Okay, we live. Don't freeze. Good. So yes! Yes! Ah! I'm so happy with that. Okay. Thunderous putting in all of the work there, getting the powerful power, the hacks, the hacks, the hacks. The hacks, the hacks, the hacks. I'm not sure if that is, like, game-changing, but it certainly helps. So I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave on this Salamence, because Zeus can't really do too much damage to it, and we can just cripple it to the point where our Medicham can come through out... Oh, we get another full power! Oh! <laughs> this guy is super upset. Um, I definitely had that in the bag, though, guys. Even if he killed my Thunderous right there, I could have come in with Medicham, outsped, Ice Punched him, killed him, and then Zen Headbutt dealt with the Scolipede. So that's going to be the end of this battle, guys. If you enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Check out the team builder in the description. You can copy and paste the team, as I said, from that pastebin file into Showdown and just play. Uh, check out my uh, Let's Play and all that good stuff. I'm just advertising myself shamelessly. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.